esteemed chair, esteemed colleagues. It is highly unusual to speak to the audience uh, which you could not, could not see their eyes, their faces. Well, I'm trying to imagine you listening to me. Indeed, uh, my presentation is um, like a peer presentation to the first presentation from Austria. We have a, a rather modest experience in treating uh, multimodally the such a disease uh, as uh, pleural mesothelioma. PM. Well, however, we already know the avenue to move forward. Malignant uh, PM is very aggressive. With the survival, a uh, survival median of 12 months, we know that. And uh, survivability depends on uh, histological subtype, and the best prognosis is uh, for epithelioid type of malignant mesothelioma. Prevalence in Europe is uh, the incidence is equal to 20 cases per million. The charts, the curves to the left, clearly show the dynamics uh, uh, is growing. is growing and there is a great gap for female and male dynamics. Uh, the dynamics in St. Petersburg is to the right, um, 21 cases of mesothelioma, uh, 1993 to uh, 1997. However, 1998 to 2001, uh, 53 cases registered. As, uh, our chair already said that um, there is no the growth uh, we expect, but uh, again, uh, it takes uh, 20 to 50 years uh, for the disease development. When it comes to surgical treatment of malignant pleural mesothelioma (MPM), um, high recurrence of local regional uh, relapses uh, is characteristic. The survivability median is 9 to 17 months. Meta-analysis of uh, 35 um, surveys uh, showed the median um, of 14.5 months uh, in the um, a range of 4 to 35 months. When it comes up on plural a uh, pneumoectomy, uh, EPP, a pleurectomy decortication. The first EPP was announced in 1967, uh, 60, excuse me, 76. Uh, the, re the outcomes were reviewed uh, between 1939 to 1972. Eric Butcher was the first Butchard who said that uh, surgical treatment uh, of uh, um, PM uh, 33 patients uh, were treated uh, with median length of 21 months. In hospital mortality was 31 uh, percent. Another approach, uh, pleurectomy decortication, uh, PD, um, uh, long saving, was published also in 1976. Uh, the same um, survival uh, median survival of, of 21 months, published by Harold. Uh, What's the difference between pleuroectomy decortication and panpleura pneumoectomy? Raya Flores, who was expected to attend this forum, but unfortunately the global pandemic uh, changed uh, Raya's plans. See, uh, this doctor published in 2008 the experience of three centers uh, together 633 patients. Uh, Pleuroectomy decortication uh, had a median survival of, of 16 months uh, and EPP showed 12 uh, median survivability. But the quality of pleuroectomy decortication, quality of life, uh, gave, uh, was higher after pleural decortication 
than the quality of life at, after a panpleuropneumectomy. So the Lenzuski published uh, surgical data on 102 patients uh, of uh, pleuroectomy decortication with a herpetermal perfusion, perfusion and systemic uh, chemotherapy. 14 patients were given preoperative uh, chemotherapy and 83 were treated um, with chemotherapy uh, after surgery. So uh, the median survival was 35 months. Coming back to the previous slide, when uh, Eric Butchard in 1976 reviewed the surgical outcomes uh, since uh, 1939, 10 patients uh, were excluded uh, after the very accurate uh, 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 morphological studies because their tumors uh, were recognized as benign. Tayoli's data a published meta-analysis in 2014. Mortality at P slash D uh, has 1.7 percent uh, uh, and 4.5 percent of survivability percent uh, mortality after EPP. Two-year mort two-year survivability uh, between the two methods um, uh, with, uh, without major statistical differences. However, patients who received a PD are able better to tolerate adjuvant um, chemotherapy. And this is um, true indeed, because the better quality of life gives you better conditions uh, for chemotherapy tolerance. Prospective study Mars. Everyone knows that the outcomes show the benefits of a pleuroectomy, a pleuroectomy decortication. Randomized patients, prior to randomization, 55% uh, were excluded. Pneumoectomy group had 24 patients, uh, but only 16 of them had surgeries. Uh, three were ruled out uh, because patients refused to go for surgery. Two uh, were ruled out by doctors. One died in operation and uh, uh, intraoperative. Uh, in two patients, uh, progression was rec recognized. Uh, three uh, uh, mortalities. Uh, of uh, post surgery and plus one uh, intraoperative 25 percentage of uh, total mortality uh, 68 percent of patients uh, meaning 11 out of 16 had post operative complications my question is probably to uh, stefan vatska whether all patients with malig malignant uh, pleural mesotelona shall have uh, pd um, uh, can we give uh, this um, to all uh, patients? Uh, uh, my case, uh, computer, uh, computer tomography for this uh, female patient, 46 years of age, uh, does not recognize um, yet fully the malignancy, but uh, uh, we mm, um, we confirmed it otherwise. Uh, we saw the progression in July 2019 uh, and then uh, two cycles uh, of uh, paramesis uh, and then we in November we, we, we delivered PD. Another patient, 49 years of age, uh, the tumor was progressing uh, while uh, six cycles uh, um, of um, DC was given and then six cycles of uh, GM plus carboplatin because um, the tumor progressing and uh, there was only way to do uh, to, to save these patients by delivering EPP. Our experience of uh, 57 patients uh, um, had um, 36 uh, were for surgical treatment and 21 uh, received only conservative treatment. Uh, extra pleural pneumectomy uh, was given to 22 patients uh, and PD to 14 patients. Males. Uh, 
were in minority, though, uh, according to the epidemiological data, um, it's uh, more a male disease than a female disease. But in our experience, uh, uh, we had uh, less males operated uh, than uh, females. Uh, to the right, uh, 58 percent uh, leisures, um, uh, pan pleurectomy uh, was um, in 61 percent of cases, pleurectomy decortication in 33 percent of cases, and lobectomy plus uh, PD for two patients, uh, which is 6 percent. Our approach to surgeries. We have two access points in the fourth interrib and in the eighth interrib because if you do it in segment five and then six and seven, you cannot do a full site reduction in costa diaphragmal sinus. Um, of bone diaphragmal sinus, and it shows that uh, in the uh, eighth uh, interrib uh, space, so you can do the full uh, resection of uh, uh, bone and um, bone si diaphragmal sinus. Uh, combined resections. When we removed uh, the malignant mesothelioma with unblocked resection of uh, the chest wall, seven patients. For patients with prosthetic of um, uh, prosthesis of a diaphragm, we believe that a resection of diaphragm with a prosthesis is a forced uh, measure, and it's only used um, if all the layers of diaphragm are invased. Pericardium a resection, well, in fact, 86 percent is uh, the uh, urgent um, intervention because uh, the malignant mesothelioma invades into the pericardium, and optimum site reduction with, is impossible without a pericardium resection. Uh, pan um, um, ectomy. it's a very traumatic uh, kind of surgery, but it uh, has um, um, the right to exist as well. And in certain cases, pleurectomedic uh, and decortication is quite impossible. The first stage of pleurectomy and decortication is uh, done uh, to remove uh, the parietal pleura uh, with um, epsilateral uh, mediastinal lymph dissection. And uh, the Two uh, videos on the right hand side uh, present uh, when uh, the muscular fibers of diaphragm are uh, subdivided together, the post uh, coast diaphragmal sinus it's in one uh, piece. The second stage is complete removal of visceral pleura uh, between the uh, lobes. In the slots between the lobes, we also do the pleuroectomy and the uh, lung uh, decortication. After uh, the, the removed piece, if uh, the uh, bag didn't open, one uh, can see the parietal and visceral pleura inside uh, this uh, uh, removed uh, piece. In uh, surgery, we do the photodynamic uh, therapy during the surgery uh, with uh, the following hyperthermic uh, uh, hyperperfusion with uh, cisplatin uh, heated up to uh, 42 centigrade. Uh, we do it in the pleural cavity. And it's done for a period from 60 to 120 minutes. Uh, the uh, time of the surgery, including uh, the uh, perfusion and phototherapy, uh, made on average 8 hours 26 minutes. And that's a uh, long surgery, uh, traumatic ones, um, and it has uh, certain special features. Um, the patient, aged 39, female, after a uh, pleurectomy and decortication, uh, that's her condition uh, 15 months later. So a year and a half has passed, but there are no signs of uh, progressing. And uh, the uh, CT uh, made on the 10th of uh, April of the year 18, that's before. And uh, to the right is after 15 months. Well, 
the lay uh, surgeon or radiologist may even uh, see no pathology at all. Let me show you once again, that's 15 months after uh, PED. Uh, it's a very uh, sensitive uh, surgery, traumatic, long one, but um, it has its uh, benefits. Um, radiology benefits um, as well. This patient, for example, came to us uh, because she wanted to have a child at the age of 39. She was young. Uh, but after chemotherapy and after the radio uh, therapy, we asked her uh, to stay uh, to follow up. We shall follow her up, uh, wait and see for a while. Uh, results, uh, complications, uh, 61%. What kind of complications? 21% uh, is um, atrium uh, fibrillations. Uh, that's uh, what happened after uh, pamplerinectomy. Pneumonia, 19%. Um, anemia that required uh, some blood transfusion with um, erythrocytes, 9%. Uh, bad sutures um, of a bronchum uh, uh, stump. Uh, residual ones is 5.5%. Uh, Helothorax is um, one patient, 2.7%. After surgery, uh, mortality uh, or lethality. Uh, one was pneumonia. The second uh, was about uh, sutures on a bronchi uh, a stump, um, and epioma alpha pleura was uh, developed. So that's five and a half percent. Um, remote results: uh, fourteen uh, patients uh, from all of them are still alive. Uh, this, uh, after the combined approach, uh, the survival median is uh, twenty-four months in comparison with 10 months uh, after the systemic therapy. In fact, uh, it's, uh, the survival is uh, twice as uh, long if you compare with simply chemotherapy. Uh, Non-recurrence survival median is 13 months in comparison with seven and a half months after conservative treatment. Uh, it's clear that two, in two cases, uh, before the surgery we had the epithelial type, but after the surgery we found out that it's biphase uh, together with sarcomatoid. Um, uh, hence the results are different. Epithelial type uh, provides much better survival. Results, uh, no chemotherapy, uh, neither chemotherapy after surgery nor the radiotherapy after the uh, surgery. After the radiotherapy, there's a certain uh, tendency for better results, but it's not statistically significant. Perhaps this is explained by a small number of patients that have had such a treatment so far. And I believe very topical is the demonstration of this um, uh, patient, uh, male uh, patients, uh, that was uh, during the epidemic of uh, COVID. Uh, we did um, uh, PD, uh, then uh, the splatin, phototherapy, hypothermic perfusion. The patient, uh, after 15 days after the surgery, was diagnosed with uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2 positive uh, pneumonia. Um, this pneumonia was explained by COVID-19 virus, what was caused by that. We are not certified to treat um, uh, COVID, so the patient was uh, moved to a special hospital 15 days after our surgery. Uh, they did comprehensive uh, therapy, antiviral therapy as well. As of today, the patient is healthy and uh, is dismissed healthy. A lot may be mentioned about um, forecasting. Uh, but uh, this uh, patient is uh, uh, quite an enigma uh, for me. In the year 2007, we did um, a pantlerinectomy with invasion into the third uh, rib uh, with a hyperphoto um, and hyperthermal perfusion. 128 months of non-recurrence survival, 11 years, no progression. Uh, 
In 11 years, the patient had a, a recurrence in the sinus of a left hemithorax. The recurrence is identical to the primary tumor. It's the same. So we are removed with the block resection of our chest, a wall with diaphragm resection. Now patient is having immunotherapy. But in 11, uh, it's, it took 11 years for the recurrence of um, a PM to take place. The present day knowledge about um, MPM, I would describe it as follows. If we plan comprehensive treatment, including surgery of uh, MPM, one should prefer uh, the epithelioid type of MPM, use the uh, two trachotomic um, um, axis. If uh, uh, there is a technical possibility, it's better to do PD. And in future, one should keep uh, searching for the predictive molecular biological factors um, uh, that would testify more precisely the good forecast uh, for patients uh, with MPM. And one should search for new schemes of combined or comprehensive treatment. Thanks a lot for the attention.